Hello, everyone. My name is Margaret Kuta, and I will present you our paper entitled uh, Freight Data Efficient Management in Safe and Secure Truck Parking Areas Within the Single Window Framework. In big data world, more information on freight transport and uh, its environmental social impact are available. Freight logistics hold the biggest share uh, of intermodal transport, uh, with while the 75.5% of the total liquid freight is being transported through their own network. This paper focuses on uh, the development of an architecture for efficient management of available freight data through the integration of a single window system to be implemented in safe and secure truck parking areas. Safe and secure parking locations for commercial vehicles are the most vulnerable elements in the road transfer of goods. Uh, since the problem criminals targeting the trucks at parking areas uh, has been of increasing occurrence in the EU. At the same time, the environmental coincidence with synthesis of trucks which travel around searching for available parking lots are notably high. Moving beyond the existing practices uh, in which single window has mainly developed in the maritime area and in customs, our research, our research valorizes the single window framework on our road freight transport following uh, sustainable principles. Let's move on. Here are the contents of uh, this presentation. I uh, will go on in order to not exceed the time. Uh, in 2017, around three quarters of Finland freight was transported by road. The road freight data used for this analysis has been adjusted to allow comparison uh, with rail and inland uh, waterways transport in terms of transport actually performed in the territory of its eight member states. The share of EU inland freight transported by road is 76.7%, uh, uh, was more than uh, four times as high as the share transported by rail in 2017. The remainder 6% of the freight transported in the EU was carried out on uh, inland waterways. It should be noted that this analysis refers only to the inland freight transport. Let's move on. Uh, here is the European legislation for single windows. I have divided uh, the legislations in uh, five different time uh, periods. Um, the first period, uh, during the first period, we had only one uh, regulation regarding the community custom code. During the second period, we had uh, the directive 2002 uh, 59 plus EC on establishing a community vessel traffic monitoring and information system. And we had also regulation on enhancing safe and port facility security. During the third period, we had the recommendation number 33 on establishing a single window. There one regulation on the rules governing the movement of persons across borders. Uh, and we had also two cones. The first one was the transport logistic action plan. The second one, uh, was related to the action plan for the deployment of intelligent transportation systems in Europe. During the fourth period, we had the recommendation number 35 on establishing the legal framework uh, for international trade single window, one directive on reporting formalities for ships arriving in uh, or departing from the ports. This clearly states the requirements for the standardized reporting formalities exchange via the electronic single window. We had also our regulations on the technical specification for the electronic ship reporting in inland navigation and two comps. So one, the first one for the single European transport area towards a competitive and resource efficient uh, transport and uh, one related to the single market act two together for the new growth. And finally, one regulation uh, on laying down the union customs code. During uh, the fifth period, we have the digital single market strategy for Europe and uh, one commission delegated regulation with regard to the provision of EU wide real time traffic information services. Finally, we have, the, we have the recommendation number 36 on the single window interoperability. Uh, let's move on on the European regulation, uh, legislation for the SSTPAs. Uh, here we had the first directive on road infrastructure safety management. So we had uh, the directive uh, for the uh, deployment of intelligent transportation systems in uh, road transport. 
and more specifically, the directive was for uh, the information services and reservation services. We had also the regulation on tachographs, uh, which is the fourth one. And then we had the regulation number 885 last uh, 2013, and it's a located uh, regulation for the importance of SSTPs in combating and preventing road freight crime. Uh, which includes the provision of information services for safe and secure track parking areas and data collection uh, with uh, the DATEX2 format. Let's move on to the next slide uh, with regard to the Cargo Fed Global and EU. Uh, it is worth noting that we have 37% of the FEDs involved uh, when the cargo is not moving globally. Uh, however, a significant portion of the incidents involved thieves uh, stealing gaps directly from facilities in each of these countries. Uh, regarding EU, uh, the lack of uh, secure parking for cargo trucks is a major driver of uh, the cargo theft trends in Europe. Uh, all major, major countries of concern for cargo theft in uh, the regions such as United Kingdom and Germany like secure parking locations. Uh, in the right part of this slide, you can see the EU theft, uh, that 60% uh, of thefts occur in rest areas and uh, roadside parking, uh, whilst uh, the rest of the thefts uh, occur when uh, the cargo and truck is moving. Uh, let's move on on the next slide. Uh, here is the single window data harmonization and standardization, and uh, more specifically, the number 34 regulation. Um, here it is uh, worth noting that uh, this recommendation recommends a four stage process to achieve the objective of national simplified and standard, uh, standardized data set that facilitates information exchange between trade and government. By following the process, government to be able to reduce regulatory and official information requirements through the elimination or duplication of submissions and uh, the removal of redundant uh, data elements. Uh, regarding the single widow idea in uh, relevant, uh, we should refer that uh, a single widow is a facility that allows parties uh, involved in trade and trust to load standardized information and documents and with a single entry point to fulfill all import, export, and transit related regulatory requirements. If information is electronic, the individual data elements should be only submitted once. And uh, let's move on to the stakeholder needs and the internet interests according to the um, recommendation number 36. Here we have. Uh, um, for uh, five different categories, the government stop uh, deciding level, uh, government decision for information exchange between single window, uh, single window and uh, between two countries, the lead agency, which is uh, the implementation level, uh, the lead, uh, lead agency is negotiating uh, for the harmonization of practices and interfaces, as well as uh, the necessary information and the three interested, interested parties, which is the government agencies, chambers, and other associations, uh, the IT service providers, financial institutions, port operators, and finally, the SIP operators. Uh, regarding the architecture, this paper focuses on the development of an architecture for the efficient management of available freight data through the integration of a single window to be implemented in safe and secure track parking areas. Moving beyond existing practices and what single window has mainly developed in the maritime area and in customs, our uh, research valorizes the single window framework on road freight transport following sustainable principles. Thus, energy consumption, greenhouse gas emissions, uh, safety and security parameters are taken into account in the architectural development. The main challenge that inspired the model development relies on the need for integrating the data available by SSTPA operators and truck drivers and for providing related services to personal and logistics. 
uh, single windows prevail according to the UN SAFAC 2005 automated information transaction system in which the trader submits the electronic trade declaration to the authorities for processing and approval using a single application. And this is the one that is proposed through the literature. Uh, let's move on. The proposed architecture also meets with the need for a, a unifying and uh, standardizing uh, existing administrative and documentation procedure. The implementation of the architecture in track parking areas facilitates the access of tracks in case of available parking lots and minimizes time delays. The architecture was tested with the dynamic data from track drivers and static data from existing parking areas. Uh, here we, we can see a case study in Greece. Um, in this case study, the above analysis is implemented in a disaggregate manner in order to provide the three services for uh, each driver. Here we can see the parameters, the cost, the distance between the truck driver and parking location. And uh, moreover, we can see the comfort level, security level, and the information provision. Uh, this is the parameter for the evacuation, and uh, the driver one has filled the user form with his uh, his data, his current address, search radius, uh, security level demand, comfort level, comfort level demand, the type of cargo that is transferred. Finally, the system operates its time and uh, recognizes an insertion insertion of uh, data from uh, one of the two user forms. And uh, we see the results and the ranking of, uh, ranking of uh, the parking uh, um, places and the recommended parking for the driver one. Uh, finally, here we can see the results. Uh, first of all, we can see the benefits from uh, uh, the data harmonization and standardization that facilitates the submission and processing of trade information, documents and data, which help to reduce information requirements by eliminating uh, redundancies and duplications that making uh, the submission easier, improve the quality of the data, and therefore reduce errors, facilitate uh, uh, exchange of data and improve automation as uh, this requires interoperability. We have um, many, uh, many positive effects uh, of this combination of single window and the SSTPA. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. And um, uh, that's all for me. Thank you all for your attention. This is my contact, contact data in case you need some more information. Thank you.